Hello friends, welcome to Freshers Live. Today is 19th April. Here I will discuss all the important questions that may be asked from today's current affairs and important facts related with each question. So watch the video very carefully and try to answer the question asked at the end of the video. You can download the PDF of the latest current affairs from the link provided in the description. You can also download the PDF from our website as well as telegram groups. Also you can find the link for the Hindi version of this video in the below given description box. The link for the Hindi current affairs is given there. Before moving forward, let's check the answer for the question asked in the last video. Who is the former governor of Reserve Bank of India? The correct answer is option C, Urjit Patel. Now, let's begin our session for today. Here comes our question number 1. Which of the following is to test double asteroid redirection test planetary defense mission? The correct answer is option D, SpaceX. NASA announced that SpaceX will fly its double asteroid redirection test planetary defense mission. The total launch cost for NASA is estimated to be about $69 million. Now let me share few more informations about the DART planetary defense mission. DART planetary defense mission will be launched by the Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California in June 2021. The spacecraft will slam into Diddy Moon, the 540 foot wide satellite of the near Earth asteroid Didymos, which is located at about 4 million miles from Earth in October 2022. Heading to our question number 2 World Heritage Day is observed on Dash. The correct answer is Option C, April 18. World Heritage Day, also known as International Day for Monuments and Sites, is an annual event celebrated on 18th April every year. In 2019, the theme is Rural Landscapes. The history is, the day was proposed by the International Council on Monuments and Sites on 18th April 1982 and approved by the General Assembly of UNESCO in 1983. The aim of the day is to emphasize the importance of safeguarding various sites around the world that have achieved world heritage status and the challenges involved in protecting these sites. Now let me share few more information about the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Today, there are grand total of 1092 UNESCO World Heritage Sites worldwide of which 845 are cultural, 209 are natural and 38 are a mixture. 55 of these are in danger including the birthplace of Jesus, Church of Nativity and the pilgrimage route in Bethlehem. The top 5 UNESCO World World Heritage Sites in India are as follows Taj Mahal in Agra, Gutup Minar in Delhi, Sun Temple in Odisha, Monuments of Kajraho in Madhya Pradesh, Mahabodhi Temple in Bihar. Moving to our question number 3. Which bank got CCI note for merger with Grow Finance? The correct answer is Option A. Bandhan Bank Bandhan Bank received approval from the Competition Commission of India for the proposed scheme of amalgamation of growth finance with the bank. The approval has been made under subsection of Section 31 of the Competition Act 2002. Bandhan Bank in January 2019 announced the merger of growth finance with it. Now let me share few more information about Bandhan Bank. The type of the bank is private sector bank. Traded as BSE 950041. The industry is banking. It was founded on 23rd August 2015 that is 3 years ago. The founders are Chandrasekhar Ghosh. It is headquartered at Calcutta, West Bengal, India. Moving to our question number 4. Which bank becomes the first public sector bank in India to meet RBI's EMV mandate? The correct answer is Option A. 
Canada Bank. ECI Worldwide, a global provider of real-time electronic electronic payment and banking solutions Canada Bank successfully rolled out a major new functionality to support EMB card acquired across its ATM network and other authentication leveraging ACI's UP retail payment solution to achieve market first. Canada Bank with nearly 6,300 branches and a network of more than 10,000 ATMs. Now let me share few more information about Canada Bank. The industry type is Banking Financial Services. It was founded as Canada Bank Hindu Permanent Fund. It is headquartered at Bangalore, Karnataka, India. The key people is T.N. Manoharan. Moving to our question number 5. Which bank launched NRI Insta Online Paperless Account Opening Facility for NRIs? The correct answer is Option A. IDBI Bank IDBI Bank has launched the NRI Insta Online Account Opening Process for NRIs residing in in Financial Action Task Force member countries. The person will not be required to furnish physical documents and KYC proofs for opening an account with the IDBI Bank. Now let me share few more information about the FATF. Financial Action Task Force is abbreviated as FATF. It is an intergovernmental body which devises policy and sets a standard to promote effective implementation of legal, regulatory and operational measures to combat money laundering, terrorist financing and other related threats to the integrity of the international financial system. The body has 38 member countries including the US, UK, India, Japan, China and France among others. Now let me share few more information about IDBI Bank. Industrial Development Bank of India is abbreviated as IDBI Bank. It was established in the year 1964. It is headquartered at Mumbai. The parent organization is Life Insurance Corporation. Heading to our question number 6. Who was appointed as brand ambassador of bus ticketing platform Redbus? The correct answer is Option D. Mahendra Singh Dhoni Bus ticketing platform Redbus has appointed cricketer Mahendra Singh Dhoni as its brand ambassador. The cricketer will appear in a hockey player avatar in his first cameo for the brand slated to be launched soon. Dhoni's brand endorsement deals can be in the range of 3 to 10 crores. Dhoni is the brand ambassador of a sports firm Dream11, Colgate, Mastercard, Orient Fans, Bharat Matrimony, Indigo Paints, SRMB Steel and the health supplement brand Revital Hedge. Recently, Fantasy sports platform Hala Play Technologies has appointed cricketers Krunal and Hardik Pandya as its brand ambassador. Now let me share few more information about Redbus. Redbus which started in 2006 works with over 2500 bus operators and claims to have sold more than 180 million bus tickets till date. Redbus is a part of the Make My Trip group and the platform claims to have a customer base of around 20 million users. The CEO is Prakash Sangam. It is headquartered at Bangalore. Heading to our last question, question number 7. Who was named Goodwill Ambassador of Team India at the Street Child Cricket World Cup 2019? The correct answer is Option B. Mitali Raj Indian women's cricket team captain Mitali Raj has been named the Goodwill Ambassador of Team India at the Street Child Cricket World Cup. She, alongside Saurav Ganguly and Rajasthan Royals, joins in supporting the team as they gear up for the final match at Lords just ahead of the ICC Cricket World Cup in May this year. India has over 20 lakh street connected children. Now let me share few more information about the Street Child Cricket World Cup 2019. The Street Child Cricket World Cup 2019 is the first cricket World Cup for the street connected children. The tournament is being organized by Street Child United, 
a UK based organization which has a legacy of holding street child tournaments around major sport festivals like FIFA World Cup in South Africa, Olympics in Brazil, FIFA World Cup Russia and more. Moving to our question number 8. Which of the following is controlled by both the Ministry of Defence and Ministry of Home Affairs? The correct answer is Option D Assam Rifles Assam Rifles are the oldest paramilitary force of India the administrative control of Assam Rifles lies with the home ministry while the operational control is with the defense ministry the delhi high court sought the response from the cabinet committee on security on a plea seeking direction to remove the dual control of Assam Rifles and bring it under the ministry of defense the plea filed by the All India Assam Rifles Ex Serviceman Welfare Association alleges the dual control as the violation of the rights of the troopers of Assam Rifles. The plea challenges the Government of India allocation of business rules 1961, saying that it places Assam Rifles under the head police, which is arbitrary, unreasonable. and violates the rights of assam rifles ex serviceman guaranteed under article 14 of the constitution of india petition seeks a grant of pay allowances pension and ex serviceman facilities to assam rifles personnel at par with the indian army the home ministry stated that a note had been sent to the cabinet committee on security on the issue now let me share few more informations about the ministry of home affairs It was formed in the year 1947. It is headquartered at Raisina Hill, New Delhi, India. The minister responsible is Rajnath Singh. This ministry is responsible for the maintenance of internal security and domestic policy. Heading to our question number nine. Which of the following is Sri Lanka's first satellite? The correct answer is. Option B Ravana 1 Sri Lanka's first satellite Ravana 1 was launched into space from NASA's flight facility on Virginia's east shore The satellite was designed and developed by two Sri Lankan engineers at the Kyushu Institute of Technology in Japan It will be shuttled to the International Space Station The Ravana 1 was launched into space with the assistance of the US rocket Antares Now let me share few more information about Ravana 1. Ravana 1 weights around 1.05 kg and is 1000 cubic centimeters in size. The minimum lifespan of the satellite is around 1 and 1/2 year and it is expected to be active for 5 years. Ravana 1 satellite's camera mission is to capture images of Sri Lanka and its neighbor country the ravana 1 is expected to orbit 400 kilometers away from the earth the satellite will achieve an active attitude stabilization which ensures that the satellite's attitude is stable under the influence of external talks the launch of ravana 1 makes sri lanka's entry into the global space age now let me share few more informations about sri lanka the president is maithripala sirisena the prime minister is ranil wickremesinghe The capital is Sri Jayawardena Puri Kotti. The official language is Sinhala Tamil. The currency is Sri Lankan rupee. Heading to our last question, question number ten. Two Indian women lawyers named in Times Hundred Most Influential People 2019 list are dash. The correct answer is. Option C Menaka Guruswami and Arundhati Kadchu two Indian women lawyers Menaka Guruswami and Arundhati Kadchu who fought the legal uh, legal battle for LGBTQ rights and were instrumental in the overturning of section 377 of the Indian Penal Code are among the 100 named in Times magazine list of most influential people for the year 2019 the list also includes Reliance in Industries Chairman Mukesh Ambani. The list names the world's most influential people of the year in five categories: pioneers, leaders, artists, titans, and icons. The list includes Indian American comedian and TV host Hasan Minhaj, U.S. President Donald Trump, Pope Francis, Chinese President Xi Jinping, Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan. Iconic golfer Tiger Woods and Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg.
conclude this session here comes the question of the day what is the full form of dart try to answer the question and drop your answer in the comment box okay friends that's for today thanks for watching our video if you find the information provided in our video useful please do like share and subscribe our youtube channel follow us regularly to stay updated on current affairs dear friends are you looking for a job end your search now visit freshapply.com the next generation of placement network register yourself today and get placed in top companies Until then this is Freshers Life signing out from Current Affairs video take care